The trends really bucket into um, a couple of key areas, but one area that I think is really particularly important for agencies and brands is the way consumers see their relationship with data. And I think we're always really stymied by this notion of big data. We as marketers feel overwhelmed with the data that we need to confront on a daily basis. And we're also really nervous and hesitant about using that data. Consumers don't want to share their data. They don't, you know, they, they feel their data is abused. And actually, it's a lot more simple than that. A, consumers want transparency around how their data is being used. They want the ability to control the flow of data so that marketers are seeing the data that's relevant and not the data from 10 years ago that doesn't reflect who I am today. And they also know that their data has value and they want something back for it. I'll share my data with you, but are you going to deliver something to me in return, like more personalized services, more personalized offers, um, products that tap into my needs that you must know about because you are collecting my data. And you start to see this virtuous cycle. You give me better value back, I'll give you more data. That's an interesting point actually because the, the blending of insights and technology with ideas is the is that's the execution piece, that's the end piece, that's the result we want to get to. Is these compelling ideas that make consumers feel warm and fuzzy inside. We're trying to do something that enlivens people's lifestyles both from the real world and from the digital perspective. And so it's that perfect blend that we're looking for. And that insight and data is, is so paramount in any execution that we work with, especially with clients. I actually have a fairly cautious view of data and um, I think actually you can go wrong by being over reliant on data and the reason I think that is is that one data provides a retroactive view so it's what people did in the past but it's only what people did it only reflects behavior and actually I think the really amazing creative moments come from understanding why people behave the way they do. And that means getting to know consumers, talking to them, doing old fashioned things like focus groups. And that actually, one, gives you clarity around the data you should be pulling out, but also provides those moments of inspiration that drive exactly. like the Skype campaign. Exactly, and there has to be an element of harmony there, because if you look too heavy on one and less so on other, then the idea won't stick, it won't resonate, it won't make any sense. So there has to be this, you know, this, this collaboration between the two of them, but an understanding that there's reasoning behind the idea and why you're trying to execute it. Otherwise, it just it doesn't work. It doesn't feel right. And that's that's the beauty is finding that perfect harmony, finding that middle ground. That in actual fact, that the end result is something that gets talked about because it is so special.